Taking home this cup, the Women's Rugby World Cup, is the goal for these aspiring rugby stars. Today they're here at Hancock Park getting tips and tricks from some well-qualified mentors. I'm Roselle Bone. The Black Ferns took New Zealand to victory over England two weeks ago in the Women's Rugby World Cup final. Now for the first time since their win, the World Cup is here in Dunedin. Three Black Ferns caught up with the under 15s at the park, home of the Pirates Rugby Club. So I started at Alambra Union, under 10 schoolboys, and then came to Pirates when I was 14 and played the women's comp. Despite dominating international women's rugby, the Black Ferns do not have full time professional contracts or receive salaries. We've had to balance both work and training, and when it comes time to paying for the Black Ferns, um, regardless of being paid, you know, we go out and, and give it our all. But, um, you know, it would be, it'd be a great opportunity if, um, you know, the women were to be able to be paid um, to play the sport that they love. But these young women are leading the charge for the future of professional rugby in New Zealand. I reckon it's just the same as boys. They're a little tougher, the girls. Because normally the boys think it's just a boys game, but, like, every sport is for everyone. 14 schools are taking part in the tournament and even some male players turned up to scope out the competition. They're pretty good, eh? Yeah. yeah. Mayor Dave Cull has invited the Black Ferns to Dunedin for a public victory parade. The players have not confirmed when they will be back, but for now the World Cup is still Dunedin's Cup. Roselle Lebone, The South Today.